All right, hi guys. Um, I'm gonna do a Lego Star Wars video for you today. Um, this is one that I haven't gotten a Star Wars thing in quite some time now, but um, this is something that I did pick up that I have wanted for a while, um, and that is the Desert Skiff. Um, you'll see here that it is ages seven to 12, set 9496 with 213 pieces. Um, all four minifigures are new, Luke, Boba Fett, um, Keithaba, and Lando Calrissian. Um, I gotta say, guys, that I have absolutely no complaints in terms of uh, money because you get four brand new minifigures um, and the Lego set itself is uh, pretty darn good, too. Here we just got the side, you know, all the Legos again. The other side, and then, you know, the play features, which I'll show you um, here in a second. Okay, moving on to the minifigures themselves. Let me grab my magnifying glass there we go now it was blurry there um first guy we have keithaba and he is honestly kind of the cutest alien i've ever seen um you can kind of pick it up on the camera he's got little a little set of bottom teeth sticking out um but i gotta say uh, that i applaud lego for their awesome detailing with these minifigures this time around seems like they finally caught on so there's him here we have our brand new Boba Fett, um, and this time he has uh, leg printing, which looks great. I gotta say, I think this might be the first time, correct me if I'm wrong, that minifigures have had printing on their toes, but I know the arm has been done by the Cloud City uh, Boba Fett. I wish that would, if they had done that, then it would have been a absolutely perfect minifigure. Um, but his gun is just a mixture of the short little shotgun and a, light, a black lightsaber hilt. It looks a little better. Um, then before, and he's got his cape. His cape is now like kind of a a puke green. And then he's got a little jetpack. Um, and then obviously his helmet. Which I'll show you. Maybe. There we go. And it's his Boba Fett's little rugged scarred face. Um, that we have, you know, I want to see. And he's got his little Wookiee braid, hair braid there. Um, so that's them there. And then next we'll move on to Lando. He's got his little staff thing and his detailing is awesome too. His little chest piece. They got it, you know, they kind of nailed it there. Uh, so much better than the first one, but his helmet is even really cool too. Um, you can see the, the detailing in the little mouthpiece, but you take that off and he's got his classic Lando smile. Uh, this time he's open-mouthed than from the um, original set. Lastly, we have Luke. Uh, good old Luke. There's, in terms of minifigure likeness, he's not, you know, any different. Same hair, same face. But his tunic is different. As you can tell, it is a mix of light. Sorry, I keep moving the magnifying glass. Light gray and black. And there is his lightsaber. And I do want to point out the difference between the lightsabers. I don't know if this is just mine or y'all's or I don't know, but... I noticed I got this lightsaber, and this is a green lightsaber. This is Yoda's lightsaber. You can obviously tell the difference between color, and I don't know why that is, but um, I'm not going to complain, honestly. I think it looks pretty cool, uh, but that just happened to be mine. I don't know if that's, you know, anybody else's or anything, but uh, so anyways, that's that. So the minifigures definitely get a five out of five on this. Um, moving on, we have the actual Desert Skiff. Um, that y'all are all familiar with, you know, in the movies. I'll just go over the details quickly. He's got the little handles for the driver, um, which they don't actually show a driver in the picture, but he's got little handles there, little levers. Um, these move, these little, like, turrets things. They don't, like, shoot anything, but they do move. Um, he's, you've got a flip-out little plank that folds in like that, and then you've got a storage compartment for guns right there um, and you've got a little flick fire missile right there so um, yeah no real like action play on this but you know you can actually reenact the scene I mean honestly if you did really good and collected all the Lego sets involving this like particular scene in Star Wars you could you know pretty hardcore reenact with Legos it came with these uh, clear pieces to make it stand so especially when it's like that it looks like it's floating almost which is really cool um, but definitely my favorite is the Sarlacc Pit. 
And you see you've got his little tentacles and his teeth, pretty good. Uh, and then his little mouth, which, you know, is not bad for a Lego representation um, of the Sarlacc. And he can swallow figures. He can actually probably swallow two, like that. So I'm glad Lego incorporated that. They made it, you know, able to swallow many figures. So obviously if Boba Fett can go in like that. So, oops, I forgot his helmet. So definitely, definitely some playability with this, especially if you're a real little kid. Um, but uh, pretty good. This is the instruction manual, real quick. Pretty thick. You know, no bins or anything. I don't have any complaints with this set, to be completely honest. I think it came with everything it needed to, um, for a reasonable price. Um, so stay tuned, guys. I'll have more videos up hopefully um, soon.